Hi, I am Arun Kumar Khannur. I am the moderator for today's session on transposition ciphers under basics of cryptography. Today, we will be discussing on transposition ciphers, property of block cipher and stream cipher and property of confusion and diffusion. The learning objectives of the session are after attending this session you shall be able to explain the transposition ciphers, describe and differentiate property of block cipher and stream cipher, describe and differentiate property of confusion and diffusion. First we shall discuss on transposition ciphers. Transposition means change the position. In transposition ciphers are a bit different to substitution ciphers. So far we discussed uh, different types of substitution ciphers. These transposition ciphers are some, somewhat different. Substitution ciphers replace each letter with a different letter or symbol to produce the ciphertext. We had seen that in case of cryptography, one is plain text, then the key one is ciphertext. These play very important role. On sender side, the plain text is being converted using encryption algorithm and a key as an input to the ciphertext and it moves and reaches the receiver. Receiver who is knowing the key in case of a symmetric type of cryptography receives the ciphertext, uses the key in a reverse manner by supplying it as an input to decryption algorithm and recovers the original plain text. I thought that after that we perform the, int the integrity check whether the received message is right or wrong. In order to convert the original or plain text into ciphertext, we make use of uh, different types of uh, encryptions. In case of uh, transposition ciphers, we are actually substitution of the ciphers to replace each letter with a different letter or symbol to produce the ciphertext. In a transposition cipher, what we actually do is, instead of one to one mapping of each letter, with some other letter to substitute it, what you used to do. So instead of that, we are interested in the letters that are just shuffled or or rearranged or permutes the bits in a block of plain text. The plain text, let us assume that it is P, is split into the blocks P1, P2, P3 and so on. We pick up is such plain text 
block and then second block then third block and fourth block like that we represent them into the matrix form first block being the first row second block p2 second row third block of plain text p3 third row like that we create the matrix in this matrix we have got rows and we have got columns we want to move around them and this is the highest level that is representation of the plain text as combination of many blocks of plain text and representing in the form of the, the matrix and then moving around rows on columns to arrive at ciphers now step by step we shall move towards that stage we shall build upon through examples to understand one example of a transposition cipher is to reverse the order of the letters in in that because of that we will get a if example we will get one string of <coughs> the letters as a plain text now in this we reverse the orders of letters using transposition cipher technique now a simple example in that sentence e is appearing last in the cipher text it comes as a first first letter then we have l when we move from right to left in the plain text that is appearing as a letter 2 in cipher text when we move from right to left in plain text we have p it appears as a third letter in the cipher text then m comes it appears as fourth letter then a comes as a fifth letter like that we proceed like this a simple example by removing the blanks whatever string of letters we are getting that is being represented in the reverse this is one type of transposition cipher rule becomes very important here rule is reverse the order of letters in a plain text let us see the second here what actually we do to encrypt the message to arrive at the cipher text we look at the statement same a simple example the same sentence we shall take it in each word we are actually we pick up each word and then we write down the letters in reverse order for example a is having only one letter so it appears as a only in ciphertext in simple this is the word we have got s i m p l e in the plain text this has been reversed in the ciphertext we will get E L E P M I S. And third word we are having example, we write down in reverse. So that becomes when we move from right to left in that word example, E comes first, then we write down E, then L comes L P M A X E. So now for the plain text, a simple example by considering each word 
and re and writing each word in reverse we are going to get the ciphertext as a a l p m i s e l p m a x e now we shall take the third example this is a little bit complicated so rules becomes very important here now top secret this word we pick it up now t is found to the in as far as portion is concerned is portion 1 o is portion 2 3 is in the p is in portion 3 yes is in portion 4 like that so like this in top secret there are total nine letters we are actually allocating each letter from 1 to 9 positions now we are interested in arriving at the cipher text here the rule is we have to split this 1 is to 9 whatever font top secret are coming we have to group this plain text as follows please remember this is the rule transposition rule after group 1 which shall have the two the characters have zero fixed column for example in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 and 2 we group together after that we do not put any column there so the m column in the sense no fixed column now second group is having three characters or letters i mean numbers corresponding to the letters 3 4 5 we combine together after that we are leaving one column c 6 after that we group 7 8 9 like this we perform the grouping means two fonts have been grouped after that we do not reserve any column and three characters one fixed column three characters like that we group once we group like this to arrive at the cipher text in the first group the last font is being made as the first similarly in the second group comprising of 3 4 5 5 we bring 5 as the first then we shift 3 and 4 to the right then whatever is column is coming we keep it fixed we don't want to change means after the first group zero columns after the second group of three characters one fixed column that has been mapped as it is to the same position then we have got another group 7 8 9 then here we are carrying out penultimate the letter as the first last one as the second then we shift to 7 means the three groups like this we we make the transposition now, now whatever you are getting 2 1 5 3 4 6 8 9 7 this is representing the cipher text positions in the original text in the second portion we had t had o here 2 1 then in the second group 5 we brought in in the fifth that character has been brought like that we created it so from here we map to the characters 2 1 5 3 4 6 8 9 7 what do they represent it is representing a cipher text 
O T E P S C E T R. So, like this, whenever we are trying to use transposition ciphers from simple to very complex, higher the complexity of transposition cipher creation, less likely that the hacker or cipher and the crypt analyst will make sense of the cipher text which is moving even if they catch hold of that cipher text they are unable to make the meaning out of it however we face problem to get back the original plain text as well so one side as complexity increases in cipher text formation the possibility of making sense of that ciphertext by crypt analysts and hackers will be less but at the same time for authorized people also sender side they struggle in making meaning out of it now we shall take another example in this one the plain text attack at dawn is the plain text so here a is represented as zero location t as a second location like that for each of the letters in the text Yeah, allocated the positions. So zero to eleven total twelve characters. So by applying that rule, we get the cipher text zero to four, six, eight, ten, one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Here, what we have done is the whatever positions are here in even place. What are the even locations? 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We brought the letters even locations and put it here 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So the fonts corresponding to these positions were A T V A D W. After that, grouped all the fonts belonging to odd position in the plain text. So like this, by grouping even positions, after that odd positions, we got the cipher text corresponding to the plain text attack at dawn. For this plain text by applying the rule of grouping all even fonts together we got at v a d w t a k t a n now we shall move to next example here the plain text is please help me now now what we have made here we kept p as it is we moved l to the second second row and uh, moved it to one portion to the right then we moved the e to the third row two portion to the right of p then a we moved total three positions to the right and represented in the fourth row after that yes comes which is the third row to the right position then e comes second row to the right position of s then we arrive at h like that we organized the please help me now into rows and columns after arranging this we pick all the fonts in row 1 first. We are having P, 
H and N. We write them first. Then we take the second row where L, E, 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 O is appearing. We write it next. Then we have got E, S, L, M, W. We write it next. Then we write down A, P. Like this, for plain text, please help me now. We obtain corresponding ciphertext. Now we shall take another example. Here, a message meet me at park. So, Alice is interested in communicating this message to Paul in an encrypted form. And after encryption, ciphertext will be obtained. So, he has used a technique called rail fence cipher. Means two rows will be formed here. To make the row, what he has made is in the first font, in the meet, then second font has been pushed one level down and shifted to one position. Then E comes. Then fourth letter T will push it down and move towards right. Like that, the meet me at park has been arranged like this. After that, all the in the first row are first. So we get M E M A T E A K. Then we write all the fonts starting from left to right in the second row. That is E T E T H P R. Now we shall take another example. We are interested in converting hello world into ciphertext using transposition cipher. So what we have made, we have written E H, then we wrote, write E down, then we third font, fourth font has been down, then we have picked up fifth font, sixth font has been put here, like that we have written. So then row one, we write down all the letters starting from left to right, H, L, O, O, L we get after that second row we pick it up and we write down e l w r d so like this we convert the plain text to cipher text now little bit uh, complicated one we shall move to the next one the columnar transposition so here message in between this is the message. So we remove all blank spaces here and we are interested in the nine characters in each. And we create the rows according. After that, we proceed further, write down in the next. Row. Then remaining the next row, then whatever is left over that is occupying the fourth. Row. Like this. We represent. After representing each rows, the each column we take down M O A E, then E M R Q, then S M T U, like that we write down, and then finally, as a group of five fonts, we represent the cipher text which is representation of total matrix. Here we shall take the example plain text. Begin operation at noon. Here what we do is, 
we remove the blank spaces and we get uh, the string of letters when we do it so we are having 20 characters here five character blank has been removed then we are having eight characters 8 5 13 15 total we are going to have this total 20 characters are there now we represent them as five rows and four columns the first row is having b e g i then this n is going to the next one o p e then from r next then re the remaining font to the next and after that the next like that we are representing the all the fonts here so now what happens to represent uh, this 5 by 4 matrix we are making use of certain additional rules so in the step 2 we are interested in rearranging the rows by moving row 1 to 3 row 2 to 5 row 3 to 2 and row 4 to 1 and row 5 to 4 like that when we make around the first one we moved it to the third position second one we move to the fifth position like that when we make arrangement to be o n a t r a t i b g i n o o n and n o p e by making this row arrangement is carried out now the third rule we want to apply please understand that these rules only will be en ensuring transposition cipers to happen and they are unique it has to be defined by sender and receivers so in this one these rules have been given accordingly we are doing so it has been asked that after uh, making the changes in the row okay and uh, rearrange the columns by using the rules like that they specify so column one we move to four column two we move towards three column three we move towards one and column four as column two so by doing it we will get this ats now once we do it then we are picking up throw it and write down the fonts then air we write down next yeah we write down to the next called cipher properties here we are discussing on two things block cipher and second one stream ciphers the block cipher is an encryption algorithm that encrypts a size of n bits data known as block. Then and we add we dispatch it and they are the receiver side all these uh, packets in random way they have the bit and uh, this more 
then we perform the A block sixty-four vector block for a Next, what if what if is coming? We feel that if we say so we have got a different technique for D what Long or security. So it blocks I think. When a lot of important for the second single shot is a few blocks first time, two more blocks second, two more blocks one. Because over multiple rounds to complete the entity provides and also define Then block one is send block three. 
are being still at the receiver and put back. Cipher is the encryption of that encryption a bit that second we take. Bits as the text used to become. Then what can send it like that each to first in the view. We should and make the meaning the one time pattern which is a you work in a random game can really achieve perfect C. Such as type of should be longer than the plane itself. In the big cipher, since we are sending the and ensure that he did not get the meaning out of it. The only option is we cannot give at the cybertext level. Only option F C to give at the key level. Random string. So plain text that is being converted and it becomes cyber text, it has been moved. 
Another thing with when there are blocks, it's on so means when we are sending we have to any TV show or show then most of the time streaming is you not process cipher only one the rings cipher then data encryption and application database and file encryption we use block cipher stream cipher is more suitable for hardware implementation block cipher is easier to use in software as well as communication channels Now we shall look at other cipher properties, confusion and diffusion. Klaus Shannon in 1949 proposed this idea of confusion and diffusion in the operation of a cipher. Confusion property of a cipher concerned with the cipher text and the key whereby it provides no clue between the relationship between the cipher text and the key. Means, well, what is the relationship between cipher text and key? No clues are given. So, what we do in a symmetric type, no clue has been given. Which is actually giving the relationship between ciphertext and the key. Because of that, it becomes very difficult for us to recover the original plain text after decryption. This will frustrate the crypt analyst who uses ciphertext to find the key. If a single bit in keys is changed, most or all bits in ciphertext will be changed. For example, I mean, uh, the uh, if we are sending 0 1, 0 1, 0 1, 0 1, 0 1, 0 1, we want to send it. If one bit is being changed there, the entire meaning of the message itself is getting distorted. Diffusion. This is the property of a cipher concerned with the plain text and the ciphertext. In confusion, it is a key and ciphertext. Here, plain text and ciphertext. We hide this relationship here. Diffusion implies that each symbol, character, or bit in the ciphertext is dependent on some or all symbols in the plain text. If a single symbol in the plain text is changed, several or all symbols in the ciphertext will also be changed. Since one to one mapping is there, then there should not be any changes. Diffusion holds if the statistics of a block of the plain text is irretrievably dissipated or scattered across the block of its ciphertext. Changing a single bit in block of the plain text will have the effect of changing 
each bit of the block of ciphertext with 50%, 0.5 probability because this is 0 and 1. These combinations only I'm using whenever. So one in this sort had been percent of this one. Now we are all set to a The thing is actually how it is. This section will be discussed. The uh, And we'll be checking. are related to SSL and other things are actually related to hardware of Discuss about the relationship between plain text and is text in different techniques. Those in of a great help on implementing the cyber the cryptography and it is being to work completely. Then check. Then check. 